Assalamualaikum and hi guys. Today I'm going to share with you how I assemble the Ender 3 V2 3D printer. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I will start with installing the Z axis profiles on the printer base. There are two Z axis profiles. One is for the left and one is for the right. The right one has two holes on the right side. We are going to tighten it to the right sides of the printer base using two M545 screws. Next, we will install the left Z axis profile on the printer base. You will notice that this one has two holes at the bottom. Install it to the left side of the printer using two M545 screws too. Now, take the Z axis limit switch and install it aligning to the left profile. Take the Z axis motor and use two M418 screws to lock it on the left profile. Then, insert the T-type screws into the Z-axis motor component and lock it. Fix the SE-axis key to the X-axis profile using two M416 screws. Insert the timing belt through the SE axis kit. Next, install the S through the kit to the S axis profile. Lock the synchronous belt to the extruder. Then, install the Z axis passive block to the X axis profile using the M416 screws. Unlock the synchronous belt Then, install the X axis tensioner
you can tighten the tensioner by manually rotating this. Then, lock the tensioner to the passive block using M416 and M414 screw. Next, install the assemble component to the Z-axis profile. Please make sure that the T-type screw is going through the hole. Slowly rotating this and you will see a smooth movement. Next, install the gantry profile on top of the Z-axis profile and lock it using 4 M525 screws. Cover the profile using the profile cover. Install the material rack to the gantry profile using two M5A and M5T nut. Insert the spool holder. Rotate this to lock and unlock it. Insert the indication node here. You can detach the screen from its base to make the installation easier. Install the display screen to the printer. Insert the Teflon tube into the pneumatic connector and lock it with a blue wire clip. Connect the 3 pin X wire to the limit switch, the 6 pin X wire and E wire to the stepper motor. Please make sure the voltage settings on the power supply is correct according to your country setting. For Malaysia, it is 230 volt. Then, connect the power cable. Turn on the switch. Now, the hardest part. Big leveling. Go to prepare, choose the auto home. Then choose the disable stepper. Rotate the knob at the edges to adjust the distance between the nozzle and printing platform. Try to make the distance between them about 0.1mm. You can use an A4 paper to assist in leveling. Don't make it too near because it might scratch the glass plate, just like I did to my printer. Now, we will update the firmware for this Ender 3 V2. Go to the creality.com and search for the latest firmware for the Ender 3 V2. Download the file. 
unzip it copy the file to the SD card Turn off the 3D printer, insert the SD card to the SD card slot, then turn on the 3D printer. Go to the info and you will see the version is now 1.0.1. .1. Next, we will load the filament into the extruder. Go to control, choose the temperature and heat up the nozzle to 190 degrees Celsius. To make the filament go into the extruder easily, cut the end of the filament to 45 degrees. While waiting for the temperature to rise, hang the filament on the spool holder. Press the extrusion spring and insert the filament until it reaches the nozzle. When the temperature reaches 190 degrees Celsius, the filament will come out from the nozzle. To print, go to print and print the file that you want. This is my first 3D printer and the first time I built it on my own. I hope this video will help you to build your own Ender 3 V2. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.